Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. Right, not even sure why I walked inside the car. There's nothing wrong with the car on the inside. <laughs> anyway, so let me show you on the outside what the problem is. Thumbnail, uh, title maybe, already suggested. But, uh, but yeah, the problem is on the outside. So let's go and have a look at it and try to figure out what's wrong. Right, so this is the rear arch on the passenger side. Let me show you the front one. Yeah, and it's not lowered, believe me. Something happened, and we're gonna try to find out what it was. Okay, a bit tricky because I couldn't get my jack under the car, uh, at least not with this uh, two pieces of wood. So I had to raise the car first without the wood, put it underneath, and now it gave me room. So we're gonna do a final lift. Dear, and he needs some tires. Oh my god, he needs some tires. I think because of the wear, that this would have been touching something. Oh my god, the spring literally just came down all the way. Oh no, he snapped. He snapped. Hold on, yeah, he snapped. So this is one piece here, and then the rest of the spring is just doing nothing. Okay, so that's what happened. Uh, it's been rubbing against there. Uh, I'm not sure about why that tire is like that. Unless the guy has been driving like this for, for a long time, I don't know. So it looks like the entire shock absorber is going to have to come out. Let's kind of figure out how it comes off and go from there. Okay, so I had a quick look, uh, had a quick look, and obviously there is four bolts at the top, which I will show you in a minute. Uh, that holds the top of the strut, um, and at the bottom, the strut actually comes here. So you take this bolt, and you can see is a is a it, this just tightens the 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 chalk and this then comes out but it's going to be easier for me 100 to just take these the torsion bar or the stabilizer link and take that bolt to the bottom and take this arm here that then holds to the chuck it's going to be easier to take that way uh, less work because to take that here <coughs> take this and then make this to slide out is going to be nearly impossible so it's going to be easy to take everything at once and that's i think that's what we're going to do now so let me pull this out a car has been rubbing a little bit in there on the chassis we're going to clean it and spray a little bit of black paint at the end just to just preserve to prevent corrosion but <coughs> but yeah looks like uh, uh, checking hoses etc the spring hasn't damaged anything else so literally snapped and, and it dropped, but it hasn't damaged anything. Cables, nothing, everything is, is good, which is which is good. I didn't didn't do any other damage to the suspension. So let's gonna pull this out and try to replace the spring. Okay, so that's done. I don't think I need to take anything else. It's completely loose now. So let's gonna take the top, which is literally four bolts okay let's see if i can put the camera here somehow the phone is charging which makes everything a nightmare okay so is this here there we go this be a longer one hold on There we go, so we're going to take this off and then we should be able to remove it. And it just disappeared. Let's going to look underneath. Okay, so there it is, already dropped. 
So I think we now should have room to pull it out. Let me see how it goes. Okay, and it took me a little bit to pull it out. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to put it back in because it's going to be expended and I really struggled a little bit to take it off. Uh, I had to take these arms off. I was trying to take this bolt off. Uh, I couldn't get it out. It's, I'm not going to try anymore because I think if I carry on I'm going to snap the bolt. So I ended up by taking these arms uh, from the chassis, just turning around. This opens all this space here, which gave me enough room to twist it and pull it out. But I had to compress the shock, but because the spring is broken, it was easy. To put the new one, I don't know yet how we're going to do it. I think I will overcome the issue when I have it um, ready to go back in. In the meantime, uh, here it is, the old one out. So that's the bit that snapped. So we're gonna remove this now. I spoke with my neighbor. By the way, I didn't told you, didn't I? Uh, this car belongs to my neighbor right there. The house in there. Okay, is his car. Um, when he, he asked me to do this, he told me straight away uh, he wants a spring. He doesn't. He doesn't want Audi uh, spring. Uh, he just said, get me one from a, a local car parts, whatever. So I already got. Um, did a few phone calls some of the car parts around here shops sorry some of the car part shops around here they don't do this spring but i found one that does it uh 60 quid i think it was um or it is i'm gonna pick it up uh and then we'll carry on from there really so that's where we are um, and before you guys start scream yes ideally you'd replace both springs at the same time for reasons that you can imagine we're not going to do it we're only going to do one side but hey is it is what it is Okay, just a quick one uh, in case you guys are interested. So, to remove this top mounting, um, I removed this thing first. All you need to do, there is a, a little ring around that holds the two halves together. You just need to slide them opposite way like that. Let me show you. Like that, and they come out, okay? So you slide them like that, opposite ways. And then he opens the ring and you can take this off just to give you a little bit more room in my case with my tools to then get these in there and then with an allen key you just turn the opposite ways and you take the nut out and then you pull the spring off so now it's time to put it all back on or sorry so now it's time to get a new spring and get everything back on um the spring did damage a little bit where is the thing? I think it's on this side. There is. It did a tiny bit of damage over there, but nothing is not gonna affect nothing. And it ripped a little bit through this rubber here, but that's about here. The spring sits here, so that in there doesn't really gonna make much of a difference. The rest of it is all good. So it's just this little bit of damage here, really, but it should be alright. So that's it. That's gonna get a new spring and put it in <laughs> I'll explain in a bit what this is So, spring is back on. So yesterday I had to take the Corsa to its MOT uh, and uh, the guys where I do the MOTs, MOT, annual inspection, whatever you might call it, um, the guys where I do it, um, they are good friends and uh, I know them very well. I, I did many jobs for them in the past um, and um, I just thought on the way there, I just thought, hmm, hold on a minute. So I went quickly. I bought the spring and I used their spring compressor uh, which is the hydraulic uh, stand-up thing you surely know what I'm talking about um, and literally in two minutes I put this back on uh, really easy um, I took the opportunity and I took this brace out or this part because I think it's gonna be way easier to put everything back on um, this way uh, because I think now um, I'm not gonna have the room to actually put if this was in place I wouldn't have the room to put everything in place 
but we'll see how it goes anyway um so now it's just a matter of putting these back in there and nearly there the way all those parts are the back of the corsa um they had a or they have a astra j two liter diesel uh to go to the scrap and they just asked me any part you want just take them out so <laughs> While I was there, I took whatever I could. And that's what it is. That's why those parts are in the boot. Maybe I'm never going to need them, but maybe I do. Okay, and I didn't take it through, but everything is in place. So the new strut, the spring, all the way up. Everything is back on. Um, I ended up managing to put everything in one piece. Um, I just had to lift the cuddly bit more and then put it this way over the drive shaft and then just twist it around and put it up so that's about it uh, we're gonna put the wheel back on and wrap up this video and that's it guys problem fixed spring has been changed and that's all it was uh, it is a little bit tricky a little bit fiddling to get that in and out uh, removing the least parts as possible, but it is doable as you have seen. So, with no further ado, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. If you do have any questions, any comments, please put them below and like always. Thank you for watching.